today I'm going to show you another card using this uh, Sensational Season bundle of products. The card I'm going to make today actually only uses the Holiday Collection Framelits. You can do cards with just the stamps or just the framelits or the combination. And remember, you always say 15% when you purchase the products as a bundle. So, the Holiday Framelits, I'm going to pull out the tree here. And I'm going to start with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock. Um, this is two and three quarter inches by three and one quarter inches. And I'm going to pull over my big shot. And this is, uh, both tabs are closed and my cutting pad is here. I'm going to set the piece of cherry cobbler down and just line up the Christmas tree in the center of that piece. And then I'll put my cutting pad on top and slide it through. And if you haven't used the framelits, you can see here that it just pops right out. Now you can do something fun and creative with this piece, but this is the actual part I'm going to use. Um, actually, I'm going to use this again. This is the part I'm going to use on our card today. So I'll just pop that framelit out, set it out of the way. Before I get rid of my big shot, I want to open these tabs and I'm going to take this piece that I've cut out the tree and set it in my polka dot embossing folder. So we're going to add some polka dots to this while we've got it right here. Put the cutting pad on top, crank that through, and now I can set the big shot aside. And this is the piece that we have. Hopefully you can see those polka dots right on there. Okay, so let's put together the rest of this card. Um, the base of the card is gumball green, so this is eight and a half by five and a half. Just fold that in half and crease it with my bone folder. And then I have this piece of crumb cake, and this is three and a quarter by three and three fourths. And then I have some of the gumball stitch satin ribbon. So I'm going to take this ribbon and just tie a knot here on the side and then I'm going to just um, scoot it right over to the very edge here. Just kind of pull it so that my knot's going up and down. Trim the ribbon just a little bit to give it some nice edges. And now this piece, I'm going to take my adhesive, put some in each corner, and then I'll put some here on either side of the ribbon just to make sure it holds it down well. This piece is going to go right here on the gumball green card. Put it straight on there. And then before I attach this, what this is going to do is go right over it, but before I attach that, I want to take this piece of patterned paper and put it on the back. So I'm just going to put some adhesive around the edges here, and that will hold that designer paper right on the back. So I'll set it here, set my frame right over it. And it's just like that. So it's a little window that we've created. And remember, there's the other piece that got cut out. And like I said, you can certainly do something fun and creative with that. But it's nice to use the frame part as well. So we'll use some dimensionals and put one in each corner here. And peel off the backings. And then this will raise this layer up just a little bit, making it even more of a focal point on our card. Oops. So we'll set that um, centered on the crumb cake. You can just adjust the ribbon a little bit there. And then two more things I want to do. This is from um, More Merry Messages, which is one of our Christmas greeting stamp sets. This is some early espresso ink. Just tapping it on there gently and then I'll stamp that right down here at the bottom. And the last thing adds a really nice touch to the card. This is our little star um, punch and it is part of, I'll show you real quick in the catalog here, it is part of a punch pack. 
you get this Mary Minnie's punch pack. So it's got the little tree, the little ornament, and the little star. $16.95 for all three of those. So I'm going to hold that upside down over some of the champagne glimmer paper and pop out a star. And then I'll take uh, right over here a little edge of the dimensionals. Make sure you use all the dimensionals that are left around the edge of the sheet. On this one, this comes in handy because if I was using a full dimensional, it would be too big and I would see it um, from the front. So that's a great use for some of those edges. And then this I'm going to just set up at the top of the tree. So it's a quick and easy card and shows another way to use our holiday framelits. Thanks for watching my video. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.